It was an implosion gone wrong four years ago. You probably remember crews brought down a smokestack in Little Village to make way for a big box store. City inspectors called the project botched. Now a judge has approved a massive settlement, providing a sense of closure for those who lived through a scary plume of smoke. CBS 2's Chris Ty live in Little Village with how the door is still open for others to join the suit, but the clock is ticking, Chris. That's right, Joe. They have until March the 26th to file to be part of this class action suit, part of a $12 million settlement, all stemming from that scary morning, one Saturday morning, right here where this Target warehouse now stands, one day four years ago. People felt a huge uh, boom sound and a trembling, almost like an earthquake. and. People didn't know what to make of it. It was the botched implosion of an industrial smokestack here at the former Crawford coal fired generating power plant in Little Village, a demolition led by Hillco Redevelopment Partners. It was the day before Easter four years ago. When you see this dust cloud just coming at you, very disappointed in our elected officials and the politicians that didn't stand up for this community as if nothing could be done. Something could be done. And as of today, one big thing is done. A judge has approved this $12 million payout from the demolition company. The door is still open to join this suit, but you must have been living in Little Village at the time of this incident, as Juan Rangel was. And he says the community where it happened was no accident. I really believe that if this were any other community, Lincoln Park, any others, this would have never happened. This city inspector general report uncovered the project move forward despite warnings 213 days before that the dust from an event like this is almost cataclysmic. I feel good. It's four years later, our community received justice. That cannot happen ever again in any community. And remember, all of this was happening right as COVID was hitting its absolute peak four years ago. If you want to find out if you or someone else in your family may be eligible to be part of this class action suit, there's a website, littlevillagesmokestack.com. We have a link to that up on our website. For now, live in Little Village, Chris Tye, CBS 2 News. Joe and Eric. Thanks for the update, Chris.